Hey guys, I'm Austin here, and welcome to my 100% analysis of Big Mac Davis, played through YouTube on the Austin channel. This is part one, intro. How'd you like that? If you've played Half-Life, Doom, Wolfenstein 3D, or any of the many FPS games Big Mac Davis has covered since his start on YouTube in 2012, some nine years and 20 million total views ago, then you know that buttery smooth trademark intro. Today, I'm going to teach you how Big Mac Davis reached his success, about that voice everybody loves, and why it stands out, why his quirky sense of humor makes you laugh, and how he's able to keep strong and dominate his style for nearly 10 years. My name is Austin. Let's dive right into the new series, How They Became Awesome. So first, let's start with a quick history so you know where he came from and setting the stage, why it even matters. Then we'll analyze how he uses his voice, as in literal techniques, as well as why people love him. So first of all, Jefferson Davis, better known now as Big Mac Davis, cemented himself early in YouTube, which has been around since 2005. From his very first video of Wolfenstein 3D, which released on January 4th, 2012, he's known what he's after, 100% walkthroughs dubbed 20% cooler. Welcome to the Wolfenstein 3D walkthrough on the I Am Death Incarnate difficulty for the PC. I'm Jefferson Davis, and this is Episode 1, Escape from Wolfenstein, Floor 1. And that's the thing. When you watch a Big Mac Davis, or BMD video, then Jefferson Davis, you know what you're going to get is 100%. This guy picks up and does everything in the game extremely thoroughly. He leaves no stone unturned. And you know what's cool? He teaches you how to do it too. He explains things in a way that's easy to follow along. Kill off the couple guards in front of you and the guard immediately to your right, then open up the door in front of you. And you want to be careful in this long L-shaped hallway. Super, super cool. After six months and 60 levels, the final video of Wolf 3D aired on June 16th, 2012. Though this was his first game on the channel, it definitely wasn't his last. He picked up on the Ultimate Doom on October 19th, 2012. He may not have realized it then, but this would be the game that would be one of his greatest successes. One where he would play a bunch of wide variety of mods many years later, even to this day. October 19th, 2012 is an important date for another reason, because this happened. This is played through Z Doom. I'm Big Mac Davis, and this. If you watched his Wolf 3D videos, you'll notice he began his journey as Jefferson Davis. He wanted to switch to an alias not long after, and then Big Mac Davis was born with the advent of Doom. But some may say that his big break came from Half Life. Hello, everybody. I'm Big Mac Davis here, and welcome to the start of a brand new walkthrough. This is for a first person shooter called Half Life. His very first video on that launched on April 24th, 2013. See, what made him continue to stand out was the in-depth analyses that nobody else was doing at the time, for Half-Life or really anything in general. This clear, thorough walkthrough info, breaking out on the scene early before anybody else, all leads to success. But there are things about Big Mac Davis that people keep coming back for more. Let's talk about those now. You can hear how he really evolved over the years. It's with his vocal tone and his delivery and of course his humor, which we will get to soon, stick around for that, which brings me to my next absolutely crucial point of why BMD is the man, that buttery smooth trademark voice. Hello everybody, welcome back to some more Golden Souls 2 for the PC. Played through Jeezy Doom on the Space Marine difficulty, I'm Big Mac Davis here. Hey guys, I'm Big Mac Davis here, and welcome back to some more Black Mesa for the PC. Happy Holidays! Merry Christmas! Happy Hanukkah! Whatever it is that you celebrate, and whenever you celebrate it, that's what you do. He's not been nicknamed the Bob Ross of Doom for nothing. From the moment you hear that suave intro, you know the distinct, articulate, booming depth of Big Mac Davis. One of his trademarks, I think, is the inflection of his voice at the end of a sentence. What's inflection? Why should you even care about it? Well, as someone who has studied broadcast speech technique, I'll help you out. It's really interesting. 
See, inflection is the changing tone in your voice, in how you say your words, and how you end your sentences. Do you kind of hear how I'm doing it now? Up, middle, and down with my words. Just like a car coming to a smooth stop, BMD drops it down for a suave landing at the end, like that. Sometimes I dream about cheese. His articulation and clarity on his words are very clear, but they still retain his own distinct voice, sound, and accent. This makes his voice truly his own, as he is able to be very well-spoken and easy to listen to. And that matters a lot, for reasons that we'll talk about here in just a second. It's absolutely necessary. But why? He makes long-form videos, which I've even heard that some people fall asleep to. So you need that special sound. Nothing. Nothing is harsh or grating. It's all very smooth, super relaxed. So keep this in mind for something we're going to talk about here in just a minute. You'll need it. Here's an example that makes it easy to understand. It's almost like turning the knobs on a radio or a guitar amp, just like that one. You'd want to dial in your tone and your sound, or even for your channel, that you're looking for. And much like when you listen to your favorite band, you know their sound when you hear them. Just like you know Big Mac Davis when his videos play. See what I mean? Speaking of, pun intended, not just his tone, but his style. He is ice cool chill. Like opening a can of soda and pouring it into ice, there is none more chill and smoothly nice than BMD. When YouTube turned to shouts and screams, BMD stayed clean and serene. BMD, this dude's for you. Why do people love this about him though? Well, it has to do with his demographic. What's that? Well, it's the group of people that he appeals to. Their age and location and interest, all of them are similar. And a lot of us grew up on the games that he plays, so the nostalgia is there. And we have sort of kind of mellowed out, despite some of the heavy metal game soundtracks that we listen to and love today. As opposed to some of the more high energy YouTubers. Nothing against that, it's their style and it works, but the opposite of that is exactly why BMD is so appealing to those that want to watch him. Can you kind of see the difference that I'm getting at here, why he's so successful with it? Ancient legend has it that when you watch his videos, it takes you back to gaming with a friend on the couch. See, there's a reason that your brain thinks this way. That down home, down to earth feeling really brings back and evokes some good memories for some way back in the day for them, so psychologically we associate these positive feelings with Big Mac Davis's videos. When something positive happens, our brains receive a rush of something called dopamine, it's a hormone. And you ever heard of a sugar rush? The concept is similar, as your brain associates the two events, the down-to-earth friends, the BMD videos, and puts them together. Cool, huh? Laughter makes us feel great, and it turns those bad days into decent ones again. So why do I say that? Well. Big Mac Davis just has an infectious sense of humor, and it's hard not to like. That's what she said. Just make sure that you look inside both holes. That's what she said. Um, to make sure... <laughs> to make sure that you kill all the enemies. I really do apologize for that. I... that was not intentional. And just as he references the line made popular by The Office's Michael Scott, and it actually dates back to 1900 with, as the actress says to the bishop, you can't help but laugh. It's halfway innocent, and it's all the way wholesome. In a different way than you might think, though, and I'm going to teach you about that different way. Whether we realize it or not, the authenticity and the genuine aspect of it appeals to us. See, Big Mac Davis does live, unplanned commentary. So if a joke hits him, it's inspiration, he unleashes it. Now maybe he made it on an earlier attempt of a playthrough that wasn't his final video. But nonetheless, it comes up on the spot. And it fits so well. That's what my point is. See? You thought I was gonna do it again, huh? And hey, it's not just me that finds him funny. I'm sure his other 50,000 plus subscribers do too. Are you one of them? If you are, you should comment below and then let me know and how you found his channel and mine too. His humor is wholesome, 
in ways, yes. But still yet, he talks about the, uh, the irony of it. These evil, repugnant, vile, doomed demons as sweetnesses, cursed red cacodemons as tomatoes, and demented brown paint elementals as potatoes. It's fun, and it's quirky, and it's just all around chirpy. It's pretty age appropriate, so you know that it's not going to be overly mature content, and it's just fun for the whole family. Destroying demons and creatures with a smile. There you are. You're dead, okay. Stupid baby. Yeah, stupid baby. What can I tell you? They love to be where the mancubi are. I don't know why. Maybe they maybe they like breastfeeding from the mancubus. I don't know. I don't even want to ask. I don't even want to find out. Let's just move on. Big Mac Davis' style has been emulated by others throughout the years and even impersonated as a birthday present to him. It's really awesome. Check this out. Hello, everybody. I'm Jeffrey Davis, also known as Whopper Davis. There are a lot of health bonuses here, so grab them all. And I must say, I like this, these textures. It's a nice touch to this map. Yes, gotta love hitscan enemies. <laughs> I'm Whopper Davis, and take care, everybody. <laughs> Happy birthday, BMD. It shows me that people really enjoy his mood and want to evoke that feeling in their own videos. Imitation is the sincerest form of flattery, that's what they say, and Big Mac Davis sure does have a lot of the respect from all of us, from many. The secret sauce, though? He's been doing this all together now, on and off, probably for about nine years. His love of the game shines through. He plays what he wants to cover, even if it's not the most popular game or mod. You can tell through this jovial laughter that he really does enjoy it. The fact that he can keep this up for so long is a testament to the dedication that he has. When Big Mac Davis does live streams, he interacts with the chat as best as he can, oftentimes going over 100, 200 viewers on YouTube. Um, in the meantime, hey, good to see everybody here. Again, some familiar faces from last time. Five, four, three, two, one, go! Whoa! We um, gave him a night from Doom 2016. Hell Knight from Doom, that is the Hell Knight from 2016. Oh yes, look at this. Why, why Austin? <laughs> why? I mean, people really like that homegrown, down-to-earth approach. Big Mac Davis brings that, and you add it to the love of the game, and you have an awesome mix. So, how does Big Mac Davis do it? It's the pioneering one of the earliest to the 100% approach and done right. The buttery smooth voice and the classic lines. That happy sense of humor that'll make you smile. It's the chill factor of the delivery, the trademark vocal style and his speech patterns. It's the interaction with you and me. The dedication to the game and the heart of passion that you just can't fake. And that, that my friends, is how Big Mac Davis became awesome. This has been an episode of How They Became Awesome. Subscribe if you liked it and you want to see more and who I have planned next. My name is Austin. Thank you for watching. Until then, I'm Big Mac Davis here, and I shall see you in the next stream. So I'll see you when I see you. Take care, everybody.